South Florida is one of the cities hosting the Copa America, and last night the opening game took place between Uruguay and Panama. I had the opportunity to attend the game, interview some players, and see how they felt post-match. Uruguay defeated Panama at the Hard Rock Stadium, this being the opening game here in South Florida for the Copa America. Crowds came together hours before the game began, and the party continued inside the stadium. Uruguay took possession of the ball for the first half, with the first goal made by Maximiliano Araujo in just 16 minutes of the game. But the focus was more on Darwin Nunez, who kept missing goals for the entirety of the first 45 minutes. Still, Uruguayans were hopeful that another goal would come soon. As Panama tried to step up in the second half, Nunez scored a left-footed goal that would lead a 2-0 difference. Just minutes later, another goal from Uruguay, this time by Matias Viña. With seconds before the referee blew the whistle, Panamanian defender Michael Murillo scored a right-side goal that would end the game 3-1. Inter-Miami star Luis Suarez was there, but he was never called into play. Instead, he subbed by the benches as his teammates took the win. I think Panama played a good game. We knew the tools they were going to use today and the line of five defenders, and also looked for the long passes a little, but happy for the victory. It was important to take off on the right foot. We simply failed to specify the opportunities we had, and it's time to correct the mistakes that were made and continue. Next game at Hard Rock is this Saturday when Argentina plays Peru. Then on July 14th, the Copa America will also be played here.